Hello everybody, Give the Scrapper. Thank you for stopping me by on my channel again. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video. I know a lot of times they're not quick. But uh, I've seen uh, another scrapper was wondering how to take ceiling fans. Best way of getting copper off of a ceiling fan. And I'm going to do it. I'll show you this. These are actually off the uh, uh, motors in a hard drive. Uh, how you get these little wires here off the quickest route possible uh, you, If you got time to mess with them, that's fine. If you don't that's fine also I uh, right now don't have the time, but I am going to make a video with this so Let you guys see what I do in order to get this off. It's very simple. Let me get some room here I've been pretty busy uh, Trying to park my hard drives There's the motor. I'm talking about some of them's in this. That's a smaller one uh you got different sizes on your motors. Give me one second here. This one was the motor. But uh, I got this one item out of. Let me pull it here. We'll use this one to show you a quick one. This is the one I got out of this. It's an older style hard drive. The motor was together like so. You pull the plate off of it. That's where it's hiding. Okay. So, let's get to this real quick video. Uh, I don't know how well you can see, but it's going to get noisy. If you got a sound, you may want to turn it down. Um, but I just take a little drum roll, cut off wheel. And we're going to go right across this. Each uh, and every one. Careful, I don't have my gloves on. I don't have gloves on, so I should have uh, safety equipment on. Okay, that, that's all I'm going to do on that right now, but you go around on each one of them, right? Now they're going to be hot. Okay, at that point, if you look, I've cut that all, all of it out of there. I got it straight down on that, okay? Next thing I do, I got a small pair of uh, channel, or side cuts. You take it. Oh, oh that's warm. <laughs> Duh, Rick. Again, I don't have my gloves on, but you guys got to realize I prefer, I'm going to do a screwdriver. Try this a little bit better. But you separate this anyway so you can get a hold of it. Like so, that, let me get where you can see. All I did here is I took this screwdriver, put it in that line I cut, twist. Your, your copper's popping right up on me. See how that nice and easy that comes? Now, this procedure also works on ceiling, the ceiling fan motors. If you guys ever get a ceiling fan motor, it's basically the same thing. At this point, Let's see if I can find my needle nose. I've got everything sitting here. Ah, my little flat tip. I like. Okay. Grab it. Pull it out. Maybe. It's going to be quite difficult for me. Get a hold of it. Pull it out. There's your copper. And you go around and do that to all of them. Like I say, it takes a lot of time. It's time consuming. If you ain't got too much on your plate... Uh, unlike myself, you'll have time to do that. I set this stuff back so when I get downtime, I can actually work it. My little copper bin, and you go all the way around doing that. Basically, grabbing hold of her, holds it right out. I got this camera set a little bit different. The one I'm used to working with, so I can't hardly see what you guys see. Uh, I've been doing this on my uh, cell phone because I'm finding it a lot easier for me to upload. You get it? And again, just stick your screwdriver in a twist. <coughs> and then she's, going, she's coming up. There it is. Screwdriver twist I push that over there she is she coming out got some loose copper 
better than I thought it was, but when I get this one off, it probably will be. Uh, take and I push it through there. Copper. Freed. That's all it is. Just make a line, cut that straight through. You take other, 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 there's other ways of doing that, but I find that was my quickest, the easiest route to get that copper. <coughs> it's micro scrapping to the fullest. <laughs> uh, I've got a bunch of it here. Let me show you guys something here. Uh, I'm gonna put you under my bench here. But if you look, I've got that. All that to do. As well as that. And then I've got another bucket. I throw them motors in just for the heck of it. Until I can get to it. Well, a little bit. A five minute video. Six minutes. Uh, by the time I edit it, might be a little more. But my thank you for subscribing and all this at the end of it. My music. So, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Hopefully I showed you a quicker route. What you're going through. Uh, the headaches and stuff. I understand. Uh, just how much time do you want to put in? You got other little copper items? I'll do videos on. I love it. I don't know if I did videos on them. They're uh, that's a good resource for me. Uh, these here, <laughs> they're solenoids. You get these out of washer and dry washers, as well as you have them in your refrigerators where they automatically what you push a button, you get a water. That's a solenoid for that, and they got nice copper in them. But I really don't know how to get into those the easiest route. Uh, I've had told people, people's told me you freeze them, smack them with a hammer, cracks them. I've tried cutting this off right here, pull the copper out. That works well, but the problem I find with that is the heat you're generating taking this plastic off, okay, it binds to the wire and it, it makes it harder. You're going to waste some wire. But it's fine wire. You're not going to, I mean, better than that. Then we got these here babies. These are little transformers. Good copper in them. Fan motors. Love them. Refrigerators. Yeah, you all know what these are. Transformers. We'll show you videos on this later on. Uh, but main time, this is what I had to do. I wanted to get it out, let you folks see exactly how to get that copper off. What I found to be the quickest route. If you have another idea, please leave me a comment. Let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments or what you see on the video. So until then, give me the scrapper. I'm out of here. You guys have a safe, profitable scrapping experience. Give me out.